Hey, what's happening, gamers? It's KYF here. Hope everyone's day is going great today. Today we're going to be playing some Mario Kart 8 on Mario Kart Friday. So hopefully everyone's uh, Friday is going fantastic. So, I didn't realize the subscriber mode was on. Alright, All right, let's see. Finally, the other computer goes back on. Oh my gosh. Alright, one second. My other computer was not on all day, so I don't know. Finally, it turns on after like three or four hours of being off. Hey, Zelda. <sighs> um, so, I will look at your uh, tournaments in just a second, guys and gals. I just have to wait for my computer to turn on. Great to see you guys in the chat. Hope everyone's day is going great today. And um, I just have to wait for the computer to turn on so I can see the first tournament. Uh, I'm not able to pin the tournament code to the top until I can actually get into my computer. Okay. Alright, thanks uh, Gio. Thank you. Alright guys, we have a tournament from Geo, uh, 306260412971, so we can try that one, while my computer is still uh, deciding if it's going to turn on. Yeah, I'm just like, um, I honestly don't know if I'll be like, um, on the rest of the streams today, I'm not feeling the greatest, uh... I was out all day today and uh, had to get stuff for my um, my cat, um, and it was really hot. So, and then I came in. Oh, Fortnite vibing, very cool. All right, so I'm gonna try to. Uh, Derek and All right, so just bear with me, everyone. Um, I don't really have access to my computer, so. I'm just doing the best I can. I have to lean over and, and literally go to another computer to try to find the tournament code. So, um, you know, you guys may have to put them in a couple times uh, because uh, I can't write them down. Um, all right. So we've got Fortnite vibe in. I guess I'll go on red today. So hopefully everyone's day is going great. Yeah, it's a really hot out and... Um, uh, <sighs> It's just really cold inside of the house. Like, Luke has it really, really cold. Like, I'm wearing, like, two sweatshirts. And then when I go outside, I'm sweating. So it's like, I don't... I don't know why Luke has it so cold in here, but it's... It's really cold in here. Ooh. 
Okay. All right, great to see everybody. Hope you guys are doing fantastic today. Uh, I see we've got Super Yoshi, um, uh, Nintendo Lover Girl, OH, Geo, and um, uh, Scotty, and um, a bunch of you guys. So great to see you guys and gals. And um, if you guys missed it, Luke did put up a video today of um, um, Casey Jones in uh, the Turtles game. So, okay, now my computer finally opened, and I've been trying to get it open all day. Okay. Alright, and it's still not loading the chat, so I still can't write down the tournament codes. My tr computer is just uh, taking its sweet time today. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. Um, oh wow, it's really loud. Oh my gosh. It's like extremely loud. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is really loud. Wow, that was extremely loud. Okay. Yeah, so like I said, I had to go uh, to several places for my, uh, my cat, and um, I had to get her special uh, food and stuff like that, and then I had to go out and uh, get groceries and stuff, and it was just so hot. It was just so wicked hot outside. Um, it was just like, I literally almost like fainted when I came inside from being outside. It was just really hot and then like I came inside and it was like freezing cold like literally I have two hoodies on and I'm still freezing <laughs> I literally have two huge hoodies like wrapped around me um, so I don't really know like what's going on with the temperature change but yeah today is just a really weird off day I think like uh, I don't know. I think like Luke doesn't like get like it's I don't know if it can give you a headache if it's extremely hot outside and you have the air conditioner extremely cold but like I feel like I'm getting a headache from it because it's just like the temperature difference is so extreme. Um, so yeah. <laughs> so that's my day so far. Um, I actually got to the um, cat uh, place at 8.30 in the morning and um, they weren't open until 9 even though their doors were open and they were all there and I said oh is there someone who can help me out at the register and they said yeah when we're open so I thought that was kind of weird but weird I don't know so I, I kind of waited for like a half an hour um, like for somebody to like I guess for somebody to go to the register so that was weird um, and then like the cleaning lady was like not the, yeah they were like buffing the floor so they kept like uh, I had to keep moving and I don't know it was just really it was a weird day today so I hope you guys are doing great and thanks for putting your tournaments in the chat really appreciate that everyone Honestly, like, maybe if I open a window or something and let some of that warm air in, it will not feel as bad because it's just, like, super, it's just way too cold in here. Like, I feel like I'm just getting sick because it's so cold inside the house. Oh my gosh, so. I um, hope you guys are doing, uh, fantastic and, um... Honestly, I can't think about too much to say except for how cold it is, so I'm just happy to play um, some um, Mario Kart with you guys and gals. And I'll try to write down some of your tournaments whenever the chat actually loads for me here. So, and I think I forgot to write down... Uh 
Sorry guys, I'll get some of your comments. Um... Yeah, please don't make comments about, like, that, um, Jonathan, because... Um... I... I'm not gonna go into this, uh, but... I, I don't, like, you know, I'm not gonna go into this, but, uh, I'm not really gonna go into it. Um, you know, like, uh, obviously everyone has, um, there's a lot of things that people don't really understand about how, um, when you get older, especially for women, your, uh, stuff is gonna change for you, and it's not gonna ever be the same, so you're not gonna... Also, I, um, I don't really think there is anything wrong with me, so please don't make those kind of comments or I'm going to, uh, have to ban you. All right. All right, so I have Jacob's thing turned down. Okay, all right, so I have Jacob's um, thing over here and I have Thank you, Gio. You're perfect the way you are, too. Thank you for uh, standing up for me. I appreciate that. You're very sweet. Thanks, Gio. Um, we can't play M-rated games on this channel, so no. We, we have never thought about why. I've never thought about playing Elden Ring because we don't play M-rated games on this channel. So. If we were gonna play Elden Ring on the channel, we would have done it the first, like, week. We only play games the first week they come out, so. Like, we wouldn't play a game, like, months after it comes out. Um, I believe Luke already played, uh, Elden Ring on his other channel. That's where he plays M-rated games. Nightwing01, you can check out his videos on Elden Ring there. And he was playing it on that. Well, you can always check out his videos. We don't play... I mean, there's no difference between playing it here or over on Nightwing 01. It's the exact same thing. Like, whether Luke would play it here or over on Nightwing 01, it's, it's the exact same video. Um, it's just at a different location, so you can definitely, if you want to watch him play the game, it's over there. Alright, good to see you guys! Thank you, Richard. You're breathtaking. Thank you very much. Okay, guys, I have Nintendo Ken Super Yoshi's tournament written down, and I also have Jacob Langlet's tournament written down. And I have Geo's tournament. So thank you so much, Geo, for um, being awesome and always um, being one of the first ones to put your tournament in and being so um, encouraging and hyped and stuff. Really appreciate that, Geo. Thank you very much. And uh, good job, whatever team won. And uh, thanks for the tournaments, for putting your tournaments in the chat. Um, uh, um, Super Posse and Jacob Langlet and Geo, thank you guys very much.
So, yep, I got some special food for my cat, like I was saying, and I um, had to wait like half an hour, and so, yeah, basically all I, I just had like, uh, basically, I just was able to grab an iced coffee and go and sit there, like, uh, I've been up since like 7 this morning, and just waiting to um, get my cat food, so it's been a, it's been a long, it's been a long morning. <laughs> So hopefully you guys are having a good Friday, and, um, yeah. You had macaroni and cheese? Awesome! That sounds delicious, Richard. Awesome. Mage Wolf, how's it going? Hey everyone! Hi, uh, Nintendo uh, Super Yoshi. Hi, um, OH. Great to see you, Melena. Hi, Jacob Langlet. Great to see you, uh, Super Posy is here. And um, everyone, hope you guys are doing great. Oops, I missed that person. I forgot. I'm uh, sorry, I got Chio. Sorry, I feel bad. I'm getting getting everybody here. I'm used to being like the people running from the law, so I kind of forgot that I was the. We were playing cops and robbers. I kind of forgot I was the. I mean, I guess I'm the I'm uh plant police. I guess that's what I would be. So I was kind of watching um like uh the uh, oh I caught stay army. Sorry, stay army. I was kind of watching um, the second uh, Pirates of the Caribbean movie, so that was kind of uh, that was kind of interesting. And, uh, Amber's the plant queen. That's right, Tom. Oh, there goes another plant person. After school holidays? Oh wow, uh, oh, you're doing some after school holidays? That's cool, Juan. So yeah, I don't know. I, I kind of, uh, I don't know, we'll see. I, I'm feeling a little better now that I have like two sweatshirts on and it's like really freezing. I'm feeling a little better. Um, I basically only had coffee this week and hardly anything. Like a lot of times like I'll just have like um, like a Danish in the morning and I won't like eat anything all day. I just have coffee and then when I go to sleep I'm tired so it's like I feel like I haven't eaten for days. I've just had coffee. So it's like I um, yeah, so I don't know. That could be why I wasn't feeling the greatest today. So, uh, but um, I got some good stuff at the, uh, the the grocery store. I got some collard greens and bell peppers and some healthy stuff. I'm gonna make Luke salad, so I'm excited about it. <laughs> so, and looks like Richard Taylor uh, had mac and cheese. That was good. So, anyone had anything good for? Uh, anyone having anything good for lunch today or um, anything like that or anyone did anything exciting today um, besides this awesome stream <laughs> I'm actually feeling better maybe you guys maybe your positive energy is making me feel better I was like not feeling very well today uh, I just like conked out on the couch and I was just like um, I think it's because I had so much coffee this week that I was just keeping myself awake with coffee and I hadn't really slept very much and I just needed to like take a nap. When I got Zelda like a little thing of grass um, for her to munch on um, on the windowsill so maybe that will help her tummy because Zelda has tummy issues. Luke always has tummy issues. He needs yogurt. So. Hi Irene. How's 
How's it going? Oh, about to have chicken right now. Awesome homeworld. Very cool. I was studying my Animal Crossing Island for Sunday member stream. Awesome, Tom. Very cool. You got my, me many times, Amber, because I- Oh no, you're not an idiot, Pascal. I'm just not paying attention. I'm sorry. Usually I, uh... I'm just kind of like, uh, partly here today. Usually I really try not to, like, it's not like I don't try to get people, but I don't like try to actively go after people, or if I've already gotten someone several times, then I try not to, like, make them mad at me, because sometimes, like, people will get, like, uh, frustrated with me if I keep attacking them, and it kind of seems like... You know, a YouTuber they like watching is actively trying to her to go after them on the stream and it feels kind of mean. So like I try, like if I've, I've usually, like if I've, if I've already gotten somebody, I usually try to like not get them as much or not go after them. But today I'm just kind of like, I'm kind of zoning out to be completely honest. Like I don't know if, um, like if Luke lets me, I might just sleep through the next uh, stream. He's doing a stream on something at five, but um, I don't know. Uh, maybe I'll feel better. Um, maybe I'll feel better before then. I kind of have to pretend that I'm feeling okay even when I'm not because Luke is so worried about the virus, you know, the the uh, pandemic, that I kind of told him when he was half asleep, like, oh, I don't really feel good. And he's like, maybe you have the pandemic, which I don't have. I just literally have just literally ha just worked so much that I'm just tired. But he just worries so much that it's like I have to like kind of pretend like I'm fine. Even when I'm not. That way he doesn't worry. We're gonna just keep it together till the evening. It'll be fine. Ugh. You're having a sunny side up egg on butter toast? Yum, Irene. Well, I got some more stuff for ramen throughout the week, so I won't really have to go out for a while. I got gas in my car. I got cat food, I got water, um, bottled waters, um, I got iced coffee for the fridge so I don't have to go out and get iced coffee. So I'm all stocked up and <laughs> I'm all stocked up so I don't need to go out um, for a long time. So that'll be good. And um, I didn't really have a lot to like uh, get anything for... Good job, everyone. Great job, everybody. Awesome job, everyone. I didn't really have a lot to get something for Father's Day because I'm really trying to pinch pennies. Uh, pinch pennies. Pinch pennies. Um, so, uh, I just, I, I ordered, like, they have, um, I know it sounds really stupid, but basically what I got my dad and Luke's dad for Father's Day is, like, a bag of pistachios without any salt because they both have to watch their salt intake and then um, basically um, like have and then Amazon would like kind of gift wrap it so it was like seven dollars for a bag of pistachios without any salt I think it was like a pound of them and they can like gift wrap it and write a little note so I did that last night at 1 a.m. because I was just nervous I wouldn't have anything for Father's Day so that was good I mean I, I it was either that or a mug and most of the mugs were kind of like uh, some of the mugs were kind of like crass or kind of weird for Father's Day I didn't really feel comfortable like especially like sending it in like, I don't even know, like, who would send that kind of stuff to their dad or, well, like, some of them were fun, but I just don't think, like, I don't think that either of my, my dad or my father-in-law would really, I think it would be too awkward, uh, like, some of the jokes that they have for dads. You know, they have, like, a lot of potty humor jokes for dads, like, for mugs, and then they have, like, um... Uh, you know, like, some of it is like, oh, your favorite child got you this mug, which honestly I think would be funny, but 
I don't want to be that person, but Luke's sister really doesn't have a sense of humor, so if I got a mug that says, this is from your favorite child, she would get really angry, because she doesn't know how to take a joke, so she would just get super offended, so, <laughs> so I can't really get that mug, but that would be funny. I think my brothers would think it was funny if I got that from my parents, like, this is mug from your favorite child. So, I mean, like, stuff they have for Father's Day, I mean, I think the best thing for Father's Day is just, like, a hug or a, a phone call or, honestly, that's what I'm going to ask every year for Mother's Day or Father's Day from my kids is just, like, a hug. Like, that's all I really want is a hug. Like, I don't even need a card because a card is, like, $5. Uh, like, that's kind of expensive. Even a card is kind of expensive. So, I mean, literally all I really need is a hug or... Uh, you know, or a phone call or something. Like, I don't really, I don't really want to, even a card is kind of, like, pricey, honestly. So, yeah, so, um, yeah, so that, that, that happened. They have, like, things on, uh, for Father's Day on Amazon, like, mugs, t-shirts, number one dad, and, um, uh, uh, aprons like uh aprons let's say dad on them an apron is a cool thing because then you don't need to know your dad's size you can just kind of like give him an apron and it can just kind of go over you know anyone kind of like one size fits all i don't know why they have slippers i don't really know like i don't really ask my dad like his size and clothing i that would be kind of one thing i was gonna get was um which i might still try to do is for like a belated Father's Day gift is um, uh, get get my dad and Luke's dad like a K-Wings t-shirt because they don't really have, I haven't been able to get a K-Wings t-shirt for either of um, our families really so um, yeah maybe I can uh, try to do that. <laughs> so we'll see but I got this pistachio, they're gonna get gift wrap pistachios. <laughs> um, honestly that's completely fine like if that's not good enough for them then I don't know it would be good enough for me so it's it's that's what they're getting <laughs> pistachio frozen yogurt um yeah I've had pistachio ice cream before it's actually really good it's surprisingly good, and I don't know if I wrote down your code on uh, Nintendo Lover Girl. I may have missed it because my computer wasn't working, so you can definitely feel free to put your code in again if you want to. Oh, you can get it at the Frozen Yogurt Place? Awesome Nintendo Lover Girl. Yeah, I, I like pistachio um, flavored ice cream. I tried it... Um, at a, uh, I forgot, I was out, um, actually it was in Massachusetts and we were, there's like a, a place in Plymouth, uh, Massachusetts where they have all the stuff, uh, down by the, the May, Mayflower and the, the rock, the Plymouth rock and stuff. They have a really nice ice cream place there and, uh, there's like a little place where there's a lot of little shops that say like, I've been to Plymouth rock and Stuff. and there's an ice cream place there and um, they have pistachio ice cream and I really wanted to try it and it was actually surprisingly you would think that it wouldn't taste good because pistachio is like a nut and it you know it would not seem like it would taste good with ice cream I mean you might as well make like fish ice cream or you know like like <laughs> cracker ice cream I don't know or or I don't know, steak ice cream. You would think like it would be a weird flavor of ice cream, but it actually is a. It actually does taste really good. It's surprisingly like you can taste the pistachio flavor in the ice cream, but it still tastes good. It it actually is good. So I highly recommend it. I do like pistachio ice cream. I think it's pretty good. Okay, thank you, JD. I almost got caught, but I still won, says OH. Awesome, OH. Uh, 
Okay, so that's the uh, number of... Okay, the communication error has occurred? What? Well, that's okay. That's for the best. Um, I guess we'll try a different tournament that... Alright. Alright, we'll try Jacob's because, um... Jacob said, I'm invincible. All right. All right, here is Jacob Langlet's uh, tournament. All right, so we're going to try the give this a try. Um, I don't know what happened there with the communication or error, but I guess I'll just put in a new tournament. So thank you so much, Geo, for putting in a tournament code. Really appreciate that. Okay, thank you, Nintendo Lover Girl. We'll try to get your tournament today. Thank you very much. Sorry about that, that I didn't get that in. Okay. Okay, guys. Uh, we'll do Jacob. I, uh, I wrote down your tournament code now, uh, Nintendo Lover Girl, so thank you very much for that. Okay, so let's try this tournament. So what is everybody's uh, favorite uh, uh, kind of ice cream in the chat? Anyone have a favorite flavor of ice cream? My favorite flavor of ice cream is actually coffee ice cream. I actually used to eat coffee ice cream before I even liked coffee. I didn't, There was a time when I grew up that I didn't really even like coffee. I never had had coffee. But I liked the flavor of coffee ice cream a lot. And um, it's one of my favorite. Um, it's actually still my favorite kind of. Uh, Alright guys. Jaden. Which team do you want to be on? Jacob Langlet or Jaden Lagley? I feel like. A team based tournament. <laughs> I feel like. um, uh, Oh I think that Jacob Langlet. Um, uh, jumbled up the letters in his name for the second one. I'm gonna try this Jaden Lag Lagley one. Let's see what's going on with that. Okay. Hi. Vanilla says one. Awesome. Birthday cake ice cream for me. Awesome, Ben. Chocolate, vanilla, strawberry, mint, chocolate chip, and... Sometimes Oreo. Oh, wow, Jacob Langlet. Very cool. Vanilla says to me, Butterfinger ice cream. Oh, yummy. Oh, my goodness. Oh, yum, a United Thrive. Um, four more days until Fall Guys is free. Awesome, Elena. Um, chocolate, vanilla, both mixed. Or chocolate chips says... Real Omerald. Yeah, chocolate chip is good. Um, choose wisely, says Lorray. Yep, totally Lorray. Cookies and cream, says Lorray. Oh, yum, yum, yum. All right. Yep. Vanilla ice cream, says Geo. Yum, yum, yum. Oh, all chocolate and cookies and cream. Very delicious. Oh, Luke loves cookies and cream. He also really likes mint chocolate chip uh, ice cream. And he likes Reese's. They have Reese's ice cream at the store. It's like Reese's peanut butter cup ice cream. Oh, there's Jacob. <laughs> and thank you so much, Gio, um, for making a tournament. And thank you also, Jacob Langley. Nintendo Ken, Super Yoshi, Nintendo Lover Girl, and JD for making some tournaments. And I have those written down. Thank you guys so much. When will the next Mario Strikers Battle League uh, stream be? I don't know, Later Gator. You guys have the same thing? Awesome, Lorray. Very cool. Irene says, I love Briar's Natural Vanilla Ice Cream. Yum, Irene. Yep, we have a lot of vanilla, chocolate, uh, cookies and cream, chocolate chip. I also like chocolate chip. I like, I like raspberry ice cream is also one of my favorites. I love raspberry. 
Um, I also like moose tracks um, or fudge ripple ice cream. It's hard to find a kind of ice cream I don't like. I don't, if I have chocolate on like chocolate fudge with like chocolate and peanut butter with chocolate ice cream, it's a little too chocolatey for me. But growing up, I really liked Rocky Road a lot. That was one of my favorite ice creams. Um, Rocky Road ice cream with the marshmallows and the nuts with uh, chocolate covered nuts and marshmallows in it. And I also really like bubblegum ice cream. In the town that I grew up in, there's an old-fashioned ice cream shop. And it's bubblegum pink ice cream um, with pieces of bubblegum in it. And it was so good. Um, when I went to visit my family, uh, um, actually last year when I drove down there, um, then we went and got ice cream and uh, it was really good. I, re I remembered it because I can't find bubblegum ice cream anywhere. But they had it in the town I grew up in. And also um, they had another kind of ice cream called Blue Moon Ice Cream. And that's really good. I don't really know what it's made out of but it tastes really good. But I don't really know like... Um, my favorite combo of ice cream is probably like I like like sometimes Luke and I like to get the Briars uh, Neapolitan because it comes with chocolate, vanilla, and strawberry, and it's like I don't know what it is, but there's something about like putting a little of each in your bowl and then putting a little chocolate syrup over that, or like sometimes like you can put like anything. Like if you're making your ice cream at home, uh, chocolate syrup. You could put. I sometimes I like put gummy bears on my ice cream. Even though they do get frozen and they get hard, they're kind of fun. Or like uh, pieces of brownie or something. Yeah, or sprinkles. Or extreme chocolates of Silver Leo. Yes, extreme chocolate. Yum yum. There should be an ice cream emote now. <laughs> oh. I get Briar's Double Churn Neapolitan ice cream. Oh, good job, Nintendo Ken. Yoshi got first. Awesome. Good game, everyone. Good job getting first, um, Super Yoshi. That's awesome. Good game, everyone. Awesome job, everybody. I like ice cream that has... Um, chocolate ice cream in it. Any kind of ice cream with chocolate chips, Oreo cookie pieces. Because ice cream that contains chocolate are my favorites. Awesome, Nintendo Lover Girl. Very cool. Geo says, Amber, if I had a teenage Moon Ninja Turtle Shredder's Revenge, I would play the community stream that's going to happen today, but I'm excited for the people. Aw, you're very sweet, Geo. Thank you very much. Yeah. I wish we could get a copy for everyone uh, of Sh Shredder's Revenge. You don't like uh, chocolate, uh, chocolate ice cream or mint chocolate or a mint ice cream. Yeah. I'm making people go hungry today. Sorry, I'm making people hungry. My first cartoons were Yogi Bear and the Jetsons. Awesome, Alex. Very cool. Melina says, what about Rocky Road? It has uh, chocolate. Yep, it does. I also like... Oh my gosh. Talking about ice cream. I could probably talk about this for a long time. But, um, yeah. They, uh... I like a kind of, um, sometimes at the store they have raspberry or cherry ice cream and it, then it has like chocolate chips in it. Yum. <laughs> so, yeah, just thinking about ice cream actually makes me feel a little bit better because it's so, it's so hot out today. So how about you guys? Is it hot where you guys are? It's like, uh, I know it was really hot this week for some people. All right. 
right, come on, little car, let's go. Sorry, Dry Bowser. Oh, there's Omerald. Oh, Omar was right ahead of me. Oops. Wow, I am just not the best at- Ah! I was trying to be careful! I went off the road. No! Alright, good game everyone! Awesome job everybody! First on my favorite track. Awesome Pascal! Very cool! So hopefully you guys are having a great day! Uh, great to see you, Juan, May 12th, uh, Nintendo Kid, Super Yoshi, Nintendo Lover Girl, hello, Crossfighter. Hey, uh, good to see you, Crossfighter. Hi, Geo, Dale, Yemi, hello, Irene. It says it's currently 67. Oh, a nice change from all the rainstorms. Oh, wow. Definitely, Irene. I guess we got whatever heat was in Florida or wherever else we got the heat here in Pennsylvania today. Hello, Lorraine. How's it going? Great to see you. Hey, Super Posse. Says no, the red shell. Oops, sorry, Posse. Good game, everyone. We all did great. All right. Hello, Eyes of the Wood. Hello, uh, Omerald and, um... Sasha, I hope everyone's doing great. And we've got Hi JD and uh, Pascal and everyone. There's DMK Penguin. And I think Posse's up there. Oops. Oh, and I see Geo. Oh my gosh, now I see everyone because everyone's passing me. There's Omar and Riley. Uh-oh, Amber, you have to step it up. You're 10th. Oh my gosh. Oops. They should announce the next Nintendo Direct to announce more DLC. Definitely, OH. Totally. Thank you, Irene. I'm still learning to play Mario Kart. I hope to race with you one day. Definitely, Irene. Definitely. Um, 
I must admit it was very hot today about how I'm feeling. I'm losing. I'm very heated. Oh no, Omar. Good game, everyone. Ugh. Uh. Um, thanks so much for playing with me every day. Or, um, today, actually. I guess you guys do play with me every day, though. Thanks for hanging out every day, guys. And thanks for playing with me today, everyone. We've got uh, Super Yoshi here, Omeral, Geo, I see Pazzi, and Pascal. And, um, uh, I think that's... I think, I think I see LOL, dude. Wait, not LOL, dude. I'll have to memorize how everyone's me is. Oh, that's Trevor! Okay, awesome! So Trevor, Riley, Omerald, and um, Super Yoshi, and uh, Geo, and all, all of you guys. Good to see everybody. Hope everyone's having a great Friday. Get yeeted. Oh no. Oh, turtle shells flying all over the place here. Nowhere is safe. Nowhere is safe. Yeah, I didn't actually used to play Mario Kart uh, for a long time. Luke got me into Mario Kart. Um, I. The only racing game I'd really played uh, when I was somewhat younger was um, Diddy Kong Racing on, I think it was the N64. I think it was on, it could have been on, could have been on GameCube, honestly. It might have been on GameCube. And I really liked Diddy Kong Racing. That's a lot of fun. And they have um, battle mode and they have races and that and... They had a cool story mode, and it has Diddy Kong in it, which is cute. I liked that game a lot. It was really super adorable. Mm. And I like the Sonic racing games, too. Um, that was really fun, playing the Sonic, uh, Sonic te Team Sonic Racing. That was a lot of fun. Oh, Bowser Jr. just went right by me. Oh, and there goes Geo. So shame they didn't announce a Diddy Kong Racing sequel since Microsoft owns Rare. Yeah, that would have been nice if they had a Diddy Kong Racing sequel. That's a, that, that's a good point. I mean, I don't know why they didn't have one. That game was a lot of fun. You love Diddy Kong Racing? Awesome, Super Posse. Very cool. Okay, guys and gals, thank you, Jacob Langlid, for letting us uh, do that. Um, you're, uh, thank you so much for letting us do your tournament. I'm going to go to the next person that I wrote down. I don't know if I wrote this in the re correct order, but I'll do Nintendo Ken, Super Yoshi, and then we can do Nintendo Lover Girl.
Wow, Nintendo Ken Super Yoshi has been a member for a whole year. Thank you so much, Nintendo Ken Super Yoshi. You're breathtaking. Thank you very much. It tells me like how long you've been a member. Um, when I copy it, when I copy your tournament code, it it it, it says like member for one year. It's kind of cool. All right. All right, there's posse, it's not sus. Amber's possum. Race to victory. Um, I don't really know if we have an empty slot, but we're gonna try it. Okay, yep, and I have yours uh, as well, Nintendo. Yep, I've got, and then we'll do Nintendo uh, Lover Girls next. Yep, uh, I have yours 1159. Uh, Okay, sorry if I got yours out of order on uh, Nintendo Lover Girl. So I have heard 1159. Oh, and actually, yep, uh, 0531 Very cool. Yep, I got that, and I have JDs written down also. All right, thanks for putting that in the chat there, Nintendo Lover Girl. Um, really appreciate that. Yeah, all right, so two... All right, guys, March 10th. All right, guys, turbocharger or supercharger? Um, I think we'll go where it's turbo time. It's turbo time. <laughs> All right, guys, so this is, uh, thank you, uh, Jacob Langland and also Geo for making an awesome tournament. And here is, um, Nintendo Ken Super Yoshi's tournament. Thank you, Nintendo Ken Super Yoshi. Excited to play it. Awesome. I have unlocked Ice Climbers. Awesome. I'm excited about that. I didn't realize I've unlocked Ice Climbers. That's very cool, uh, Thea. <sighs> Okay, all right, thanks, Gio. All right. Okay, guys, here is Nintendo Ken Super Yoshi's tournament. Woohoo! And always great to see you, Nintendo Ken Super Yoshi, Nintendo Lover Girl. At Pazzi, Jacob, uh, Crossfighter, and uh, everyone, Lorraine. Let's see. Uh, I really wish I could just delete that. Oh, I guess we'll go subscriber mode. Gosh. Ah. Not the bot. You have mint chocolate chip, mint chip, and birthday cake, and lemon ice cream? Oh, wow, Later Gator. Sounds like it's going to be a good week of ice cream for you. Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> You're breathtaking, uh, Irene. Thank you so much. Wow, I've never had lemon ice cream. That sounds really good. Um, 
Yeah, I don't really know if the those people are attacking my channel or if they're just attacking random people. I really don't know. All right, let's -a go. Okay, guys and gals, so this one is made by um, Super Yoshi. Thank you, Super Yoshi, for putting your tournament in the chat. Really appreciate that. And after this, we'll tune Nintendo Lover Girl. Sorry, Nintendo Lover Girl, that I didn't get yours. Um, at least oh, you're in the same club with Omerald, where I kept skipping over Omerald's last time, too. So sorry about that, Nintendo Lover Girl. Don't worry, we'll get to your soul, uh, my friend. Don't worry about it. And uh, great to see you, Nintendo Lover Girl. Hope you're having a great day, and hope everyone's day is going fantastic today. Oh, that's kind of weird. My ears were super watery today, and I just like, uh, my ears just kind of like popped, and now I can hear a lot better. I was kind of like talking through a um a tunnel before, so if I was talking really loud, sorry. Now I now I can actually hear myself. Before I could kind of like hear wah wah wah. Now I can hear myself a little bit better. It's just a weird day all around. It's one of those days. Oh, wow! We are going really fast through here. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Wow, this is insane. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, I'm really behind on this one. I keep hitting the walls. The uh, it's really fast. How did I dodge the lightning? I don't know, Ben. I find that insulting. Amber says, "Omerald, sorry, Omerald, sorry." It's uh, you've seen the bot show up on other channels. Okay. Well, that makes me feel slightly better. <laughs> good game, everybody. Um, good to see you guys hanging out here. Um, thanks for playing today, everyone. We've got Nintendo Cat and Super Yoshi here. Um, Posse, uh, Crossfighter, Geo, and um, Trevor. Awesome. And a um, whole bunch of you guys and gals. So thanks so much for playing me with me today. Really appreciate that, everyone. And, uh, good to see you guys, as always. You guys are actually cheering me up, because I wasn't feeling too great, and I feel a lot better now, so thank you guys. And gals. It's okay, you lost it, because those people are good. That's what I tell myself every day, Zodiac Ghost. Uh, every day, I, I think, oh man, I must be bad, but then I realize, no, my... My subscribers are actually really good at the game. Ugh. Mm -hmm. Yep, so it's tacos. I can't wait to for Luke to try my Mexican rice I made. Uh, finally, was able to make it from scratch, but... Um, I was thinking I would, um, I would save, like, money making it from scratch, but usually I get the packet, like, the, the instant version, and honestly, I don't think I saved money by making it from scratch, because I had to get so many ingredients, and, like, use a half a can of tomatoes, um, use, like, a half a thing of broth from a, a carton, so it's like, yeah, I kind of, like, didn't really save money, because I had to open so many different things, but... 
It still tastes pretty good, so I'm excited to see Luke try it. This is a pretty cool looking stage. I love, uh... Uh, I don't really remember what the stage is called, Tokyo something, but it looks really cool. I like all the, um... I like all the red on all the buildings. It's really happy and bright. And all the, like, the Asian style buildings it looks really cool. And even the road is red. Wow, I didn't even notice that. Everything in this uh, level is red. And the Ferris wheel and the and the bridge is red. <laughs> Everything is red. I like it, honestly. It's cool. All right, we've got okay. Good job, everyone. We got State Army and um, Riley and everyone. It's Tokyo Blur. Awesome, Ben. Thank you. Good job, everyone. Awesome job, everybody. You, uh, Tokyo Blur, uh, Blur says Tom. Okay, thank you, Tom. Thanks, Ben. Strong suspect DLC wave coming in July. Awesome, Ben. Good game, everyone. It would be possible. Oh, you're wondering when the release date for, uh, 200% uh, Wolf is for 2023? Well, I mean, if it's a show people really like, I, I would imagine, yeah, I mean, they'll probably announce it pretty soon, Cade, like, indefinitely. They'll announce the, I'm sure they will. I mean, the show is pretty cute, honestly. It's very creative, honestly. It's a new, it's a very creative, um, like, concept for a show. Like, dogs that have, like, bracelets, but they can be a human. Um, I've al <laughs> I always wonder what uh, a dog or a cat would be like if they turned into a human. <laughs> I always uh, think that Luke would actually like. Um, I'm I'm very weird about it, but like Luke always spends more time with the cat than me, so I'm always like kind of jealous of our cats. So I'm like I come I kind of glad they're not humans because then they would talk and. Uh, then, I don't know, Luke, well, I think that Luke doesn't really, I think he just really likes cats. So if our cats became human, he probably wouldn't, like, he wouldn't talk to them anymore. Because <laughs> he would be like, oh, you're just a person now. <laughs> Nothing exciting anymore. You're more fun when you're a cat. Uh, Luke really likes, he's always been a cat person, because he, um, kind of like Calvin and Hobbes. Luke, um, had a best friend that was a cat. That he hung out with his um, his cat when he was a little kid, and that's why he's a huge cat person. Um, his cat Sammy used to um, uh, sleep in his bed when he was a little boy, and so <laughs> he would just do everything with his cat. Um, so yeah, that's why Luke is a huge cat person. So. And so sometimes, like I'll be sitting downstairs. And I'm like working on everything really hard and I say hello Luke and he completely ignores me and he'll just go over to Zelda and s pick her up and start talking to her and saying good morning Zelda and I'm just like wow Luke wow I cannot believe you're ignoring me for the cat and you're just talking to the cat not even talking to me at all good job everyone Meow, yeah, says Rage Wolf. Yep. Or maybe Luke likes cats because he secretly is a cat. <laughs> Good game, everyone. He likes Zelda. He does like Zelda the cat. He does. Humanoid cat. Definitely United Thrive. But 100% Wolf Book of Hath is a show and it's only coming out 2023. All right, good to know, Cade Lycan. Thank you. Even I like Zelda, says Lorraine. I know, she can do no wrong. Everyone seems to like Zelda. She's got that cat privilege. 
everyone seems to think she is pretty cute. Even I like Zelda. I like I like Zelda, honestly. Even though she drives me nuts. And she like uh, sometimes she knocks stuff. Well, today she hasn't been so much, but some days like she's just driving me nuts, like knocking stuff off my shelves. Um, it's like she wants to get my attention, but she can't talk, so she'll just start knocking stuff over. And then, then it's like I'll come over there in the kitchen to see what she wants, and she usually wants some more food, but it's like she can only. I mean, I can't keep feeding her. Like, all the time. She's gonna, you know, she can only eat so much. She's only supposed to have two cans a day. <laughs> so, she's got her little crunchies there. Or sometimes, like, uh, Luke will feed her at uh, 7 in the morning when he's working, and then I'll come down at 8 in the morning an hour later, and her food will be gone. And she wants, she tries to trick, she tries to trick me so that I will feed her again, even though she's not supposed to be fed for another, like, five hours. <laughs> She'll, like, look up at me and meow and act as if she doesn't, hasn't eaten anything for a long time. And then I'll just say, Luke, did Zelda get fed? And he'll say, yep, I just gave her a can an hour ago. And I'm like, okay. And then I'll look at Zelda and I'll say, you know. Uh, Zelda, you're trying to trick me. You already got fed. She's a sneaky cat. All right. Oh, no, I'm 12th again. Right. Come on, neighbor, catch up to the crowd. Oh no, I got nervous and now I now I fell. Oh, there's Geo. We're hanging out here. Hey Geo. Oh sorry, I hit Geo at the end. Sorry, Geo. Imagine if I fed Zelda, says the Ray. How is Zelda doing? Um I don't really know. I think she's doing alright. She's really, I haven't really, I saw her earlier. Actually, today, she was just hanging next to me. Uh, um, she was just hanging out and on the uh, on the couch. And on the, well, she just sat on the little armrest of the couch and was just staring at me. And I petted her for a while and she just wanted to hang out with me, I guess. But I have no idea where she is now. She just kind of roams around, roams around the house like around three o'clock or wait, actually it is around like 4.30 or five o'clock. She probably knows when Luke's supposed to wake up for the stream. So she'll start scratching at his door and try to get him up. <laughs> I don't know. She's a very weird, like she is, like I'm surprised she's not a human because she kind of acts like she knows what's happening. Like. She knows what time she's supposed to eat. She knows what time Luke's supposed to get up for work. Like, literally, I'm surprised she's not a human because she kind of acts like one. <laughs> Trick or treat, says Tom. Trick or treat, Tom. Amber, Spider-Man Zero is in Fortnite. Shop, just to let you know. Ooh, Spider-Man Zero. Awesome, Gio. Thank you for letting me know. Awesome. I'm excited. Good game, everyone! I mean, she's doing okay. I, I'm, I have her on medicine every day from her vet for her tummy. Like, ever since she went to the pet emergency room, like, she's supposed to go to the vet every two weeks, but I forgot to bring her to the vet last week, so she has an appointment this coming week, I think. Uh, hopefully I didn't miss it again. 
but she's supposed to get like a vitamin B shot like every week. Um, so yeah, but thanks for asking, Luray. I'm uh, that's very sweet that you care about little Zelda there. And thank you guys for keeping her in your thoughts and prayers and for asking how Zelda's doing. Um, really appreciate that and she appreciates that a lot. Um, so yeah, she just has to get like a little shot of vitamins and she's supposed to be on this like steroid medicine where it's supposed to help her, uh, like recover from any, any problem. She has right now, since the, she had her uh, ultrasound, they found that she has a tummy disease. Um, so she, you know, she's just supposed to take this steroid stuff and then she's supposed to take like another pill every a couple days to help with not um, having any hairballs. And then, and then hopefully that is supposed to make her feel better. But... I don't, the the weird thing is like her medicine, usually she's on the medicine for a while and then after she takes the medicine for a while she gets completely better and then the vet's like, well I guess she's better and they're like, we don't have to go on the medicine anymore and then after about a month and a half she'll get sick again and then she has to go on the medicine again. So it's like a continuous cycle where she keeps getting sick and then she gets on the medicine, the vet tells her she has to take it and then she's fine and then the vet takes her off of it and then she gets sick again <laughs> so it's like every couple months she just gets sick again because i think she needs to be on the medicine like all the time but the vet doesn't want to like give it to her all the time so yeah i don't really know that's why i got her some like cat grass they said it's supposed to be helpful for a uh, cat's tummy because she has problems like she just feels herpy in her little cat tummy. Like, every time she eats, she feels sick a little bit. Like, so it's like, it doesn't agree with her. Like, her food doesn't agree with her or something. <sighs> so I don't really know um, what's going on with her. Like, they said she has a problem, like, digesting food. So that's why she has to be on the special food. It doesn't hurt her as much. Like... It's kind of like, um, imagine like, um, for like a human, like everything you ate made you feel not good. That's kind of what Zelda feels like. Everything, every time she tries to eat, it makes her feel bad. Um, so she's just on some food that is supposed to be the best food possible, but it, I think it's still not perfect, but it's better than nothing, I guess. But she's a very sweet little cat. She's always, like, every time, like, maybe two or three times a day, she'll, like, just look at me and then she'll, like, roll over on her belly waiting for me to go pet her. Uh, she likes to be, she likes to roll over on her belly and wait for somebody to go up and, like, give her a little belly rub. And then she feels really happy and, um, she just, like, uh, like, when we first got Zelda, um, like, I didn't, people didn't, um, well, she didn't like to be picked up at all, and, uh, now I, I can pick her up and she'll purr really loudly and stuff. So she, she likes being picked up now. As long as I don't touch her tummy, though. Her tummy's always kind of like... Since she started to get sick, her tummy always feels... Uh, like, um... Her tummy always feels, um... Like, if I touch it, it hurts her. So I just pick her up, like, uh, near the front of her body. So I'm not touching her tummy at all. So that's what I, what I, I do. So I don't hurt her when I pick her up. And... Honestly, she just looks weird because she's a very skinny cat, but then she has this tummy that, because of, she's not feeling well, it's always bloated. So she looks like she has like a little balloon in her tummy, and then like like every three, two or three days, the balloon will go down and like deflate, and then she'll look normal again, and then it will start to inflate again and uh you know get bloated again so it's like she has like she almost looks like a camel where she's got this little hump so she looks really weird honestly like i just 
I mean, good thing there aren't any other cats around because she would be kind of embarrassed. She looks weird, but... Um, also, her fur has been growing back in from where they shaved it <laughs> for the ultrasound, so that that is, um, that's good. I feel like I've just been lapped here. Oops. First place! Awesome, Connor! Great job! Phil Butter Zelda says Al Neko. Thank you, Al Neko. Appreciate that. Hope she gets better soon and good luck. Thank you, Yemi. Uh, says, I hope you and Luke don't lose her, otherwise I'm going to lose it. Aw, thanks, Lorray. She's a very sweet cat. Um, I think Luke would lose it, too, if he lost her, so, you know... He, let, he talks to Zelda more than he talks to me, so, like, if he lost Zelda... He would probably be like, oh, great, Zelda's gone. You, now it's just, you're here, Amber. Now all I have left is you. No, I'm just kidding. He wouldn't say that. All right, guys. Um, I guess we have enough time. We're going to try Nintendo Lover Girls. Nintendo Lover Girls. Um, tournament. Awesome. Okay, thank you, um, Nintendo Ken Super Yoshi, uh, for making a great tournament for us. Thank you so much, uh, Super Yoshi. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I'm sure he wouldn't say that. <laughs> yeah, but if anything happened to Zelda, Luke would say, Oh, no, no, I'm stuck here with Amber. Ah! I really need to get rid of some of these. Like, I have one, two, three, four, five. Four of these. Yeah, like, I have to get rid of these. I have four, four, t four tournaments here, and I don't think I can get rid of them. Like, unless I have to, like... <sighs> okay. All right, so we did Mach 10. Mach 10. I thought that said March 10th. It's Mach 10. What was I doing? I'm sorry. Wow, I totally misread that. Sorry, I really need my glasses at this point. Amber's Possum. Let's go. Uh, I'm going to favorite this one. I already, um, I already uh, took a picture of it in case. Okay, so we're going to put in another code. Let's go! Oh, that's okay. I've I've got your tournament for next time, Sabriyoshi. Thank you, though. Uh, here we go. That's right, JD. All right, it's racing time. All right, guys and gals, we've got a tournament from Nintendo Lover Girl. Awesome! Let's go! Yahoo! All right, so thank you so much. Um, Geo. Um, um, Jacob Langlet and Super uh, Nintendo Kid and Super Yoshi. And Nintendo Lover Girl and JD for making some awesome tournaments for us, everyone. And really appreciate that. Thank you guys for good, like um, contributing and helping the stream. Um, me actually find something to race. And thanks for making awesome tournaments for us to to play today. I really appreciate that, you guys. Um, so we just played Super Yoshi's tournament. So thank you so much, Super Yoshi, for making an awesome tournament. Really appreciate that, Super Yoshi. And now we are on Nintendo Lover Girls Tournament. And there's Geo. Awesome. <laughs> no, she'll be okay. Um, She'll just be... She's just going to have, like, 
You know, like some old, old people have health issues, like they have a bum leg or something. Like, basically Zelda's just gonna have a tummy issue for the next couple of years, so she'll be fine. I don't think that she's gonna, uh, be yeeted. I don't think she's gonna pass away or anything. We, they thought she was before, but that was before they took the x-ray, the ultrasound, and they saw that it's just a tummy issue where she can't digest stuff very well. So she's just always gonna have this weird bloating and have her tummy kind of hurt a little bit. Like, she's just gonna have this ongoing, like, thing that just makes her feel weird, but she's gonna be around for a while. Don't worry, guys and gals, um, she'll be around, but that's very sweet of you, Lorray, and uh, I'm sure she'll be okay. You know, she should be, because um, as soon as the vet, um, hey guys, um, as soon as the vet saw, like, what she actually had, because they were worried about so much worse things, um, so as soon as the vet saw what she actually had, um, they, uh, they, they didn't really want to see her for an appointment because they weren't as worried about her anymore, um, because, you know, it didn't really, they weren't as worried about her because they realized her disease isn't that bad. It's just a weird, um, you know, the worst is over, like, she, um, you know, she doesn't really, <laughs> I just have to... <laughs> I just have to, uh, slowly, uh, like, I had to get, like, a pet, uh, credit card out to, um, uh, make sure that she didn't, like, I was able to get her to the hospital, so I just have to pay, like, um, a small amount monthly for a while to try to pay that off <laughs> eventually. That's the only thing, and she's just happily eating her, uh, you know, cat food, her special cat food, and she's gonna be okay. I'm very nice. I'm very thankful that so many people care about her so much. <laughs> she's a. She's definitely. A, she's the first cat that I had a, since she was like a little kitten. Um, so, uh, because uh, our other cats, we got them when they were older, and Zelda was uh, just a tiny little. You guys can actually. There are vlogs of Zelda um, from like 2000. Maybe it was 15. I don't remember when we got her. But it was a long time ago, and um, either 15 or 16, and um, she was just a tiny little thing. She was so small. I could I could basically hold her in like the cup of my hand. She was so tiny, and she was such a uh, rascal. The first day we got Zelda, um, we had all these paper lanterns in our house. Like we got these paper lanterns from actually Walmart but they looked really nice like they were all like they looked really elegant and our house looked really pretty and everything was in its place and since we've had Zelda our house has just been like like a tornado like she's basically like uh <laughs> she's basically like um uh oh my gosh uh Tasmanian devil she's just like she just like rips the stuff apart like the first day even as a tiny little kitten the first day she came home she destroyed every single one of our paper lanterns she clawed all of them and destroyed them like there was one that she didn't destroy and we put it in our room and then one day she came in our room and destroyed that like so that was horrifying to me because I really liked how they looked and I thought it like even though we didn't have like expensive couches or something like I thought our house looked really nice with the paper lanterns and everything looked really cute and she kind of destroyed that so I just I had to get regular like I literally have to get like um steel lamps like they're like really sturdy so she can't rip them apart I can't get any like everything I get like, I have to buy anything that I get in the house. I have to buy something really sturdy so she can't, like, knock it over. And and she's, like, very, like... She just does it. Like, she's not trying to be malicious. She's just like, huh, I wonder if this would fall over if I, if I smacked it around. Would this fall over? 
and then like she'll smack something around and it'll crash to the ground and then she'll look at it and be like oh I guess that fell over when I hit it repeatedly it's like yes it did Zelda like thanks for like wow wow Zelda Some kittens are crazy. Yep, totally, Jacob. Yep. <laughs> yeah, she is a she's a very lovable cat, but she's she's you know it's like Zelda is like a scientist. Like she has to investigate everything. She's like, hmm, if I jump on the computer, will it shut the whole stream off? It's like, yes, it will. Well, I guess I figured that out today. Great job, Crossfighter! Awesome job! Good job, everybody! Good game, everyone! Uh, great job, uh, uh, Super Yoshi and Trevor, Posi, Geo, Nintendo Lover Girl, so, and uh, Dark Yoshi. And thanks again, Nintendo Lover Girl uh, made this tournament for us. Alright, we've got Dark Yoshi, Jacob, Crossfighter, Trevor, Jirito is here, Super Yoshi, Nintendo Lover Girl, and me, and a, a bunch of you guys. Great job, everyone, and Judah. Yep. Hi, Matt and Do Gaming. How's it going? Great to see you. Mm. Honestly, the thing about having a cat or a dog is it gives you when you're super bored or when you have nothing going on in your life, at least you always have something going on in your life because literally if Zelda wasn't in the house, like Luke and I would just be staring at each other and there would be nothing happening. It'd be like, sup, what, how are you? How was your day? Good. How was your day? Good. Let's work. <laughs> so like with Zelda, it's like, how was your day? Good. So how was your day? And then in the middle of the conversation, it's like, meow, meow. It's like, Okay, Zelda wants food, so she makes more life more exciting. She likes pets make life interesting. They mix things up a little bit. Oh, there's Geo. I feel like Luke in our life with Zelda should be a sitcom or something. It would be called Life with Zelda. There should be a laugh track every time Zelda knocks something over. We'll just be hanging out be like, how was your day Luke? How was your day Amber? It's like, it's like, well, you know, I had to go to the grocery store. That's nice. And then you hear a huge crash and it's like, Oh, that Zelda! And then, like, a laugh track. Like a Scooby-Doo laugh track. That would be fun. Oh my gosh. Zelda, you've got some splaining to do! I don't know. All right, we might actually have time for JD's tournament. Awesome. Oops. Yeah, I'm a little bit far behind on this one. <laughs> Thanks, Gio, since you got me laughing about your sitcom idea. Thanks, Gio. Look at the TMNT. Um, I'm so excited to see it, says the, uh, yeah. I'm excited to see it, says the, uh, Ooh, 
Life with Pets Amber. So that's Life with Pets Amber totally to me. Luke got the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Shredder's Revenge opening song in my head. Oh no, Gio. Yeah, I know. Um, I was just trying to find the right time to use my mushrooms. But yeah, I guess the time is time is now. Like how Luke and Amber in Spider-Man uh, Dimensions. You got some splaining to do. Definitely, uh, Lorraine. Yep, you've got some explaining to do. That's right, Lorraine. Um, yeah. I was trying to be like, um, Ricky Ricardo from I Love Lucy. Whenever she's, you know, she'll... I liked watching I Love Lucy, um, back in the day. And, and when I was growing up, like, I'd get the DVDs from the library and stuff. And, um, you know, Lucy would always do something funny and... Um, you know, then she would kind of mess up or, or, you know, accidentally buy something too expensive on the credit card or, you know, hire like movers to move all their furniture out of the house or just do something weird. And then he would say, Lucy, you got some splitting to do because, uh, I guess he was doing it in like, a, um, a, uh, um, I think he was from Cuba, I believe. So he was doing it in like a Cuban accent. But yeah, Spider-Man does that too, Luray. You've got some explaining to do. That's right. Yep, it's uh, Spider-Man says it too. Yep, it's a fun line, actually. We have to remember that line if we're going to do a sitcom. We have to write this sitcom down. <laughs> I've got Geo laughing about it already. <laughs> and Thea. And uh, so we'll have to write this sitcom. Honestly, I should write it. Uh... You know what? I mean, I'm not doing anything else. I should definitely write a sitcom about my life with Luke and Zelda. That would be fun. I think it would be funny. You know what? You never know. It could be a thing. That'll that'll turn out to be my claim to fame. I'll never actually get super famous as a YouTuber, but <laughs> I'll write a show about my life. <laughs> And, like, somebody else will play me in the show, and it will be hilarious. But, though, they won't be as fun as my actual cat. Zelda, played by herself. She can't be as fun as Scooby-Doo, because she can't say rut row. But, maybe they could. Maybe they could have a voice for her in the show. Meow. Oh, that Zelda! <laughs> That's my laugh track. Sorry, it's kind of weird. Amber, you have to get down the hill! Everyone is so far ahead of you! Go, 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 go! Go, go, go! Stop! Stop talking about weird stuff! Go, go, go! Wow, I missed all the rings! No! And... Oh! Lucy, you... You have some splaining to do. That's right, OH. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> it would be a hit, says Timmy. Yes! You're doing great, Nintendo lover girl. Everyone's doing fantastic. I'm not... No, it's good. I like the song stuck in my head. It makes me jam without music on. Awesome, Geo. I do that too. I can jam out to a song without music on. That's awesome. Yeah, I can hear it. I can hear the music in my head too. I do that too. Oh, that's okay. And thank you. Uh, I believe we're still. Yep, we're on uh, Nintendo Lover Girls uh, course right now. Um, I hope I get to watch. Uh. Jurassic World Domination. Has anyone seen it? And did you guys like the movie? I mean, I don't know. I keep seeing reviews. People are saying, like, um, like, weird, weird people on the internet are saying, like, oh, they're making too many Jurassic Park movies. But it's like, how can you have too many dinosaur movies? I mean, dinosaurs are cool. Like, I, I can't see a problem with more dinosaur movies. Um, I would love to see it. I might be able to see it. Um, 
Maybe I'll hopefully I'll get a chance to see it. I might try the um um you know like a special maybe I can get a, a card for like a a card for my local theater because last time I went to my theater they said oh do you have a rewards card and I said no and they said oh it would have been half off your ticket is like half off like what I don't like how would it have been half off and um, where do I get one of those cards maybe on if I get a rewards card maybe I can see movies more often because that would be cool Especially if I see a movie on like a Tuesday afternoon or something, um, I might be able to, yeah. But yeah, I haven't, uh, the last movie I saw was the, um, the Maverick, uh, Top Gun, and that was pretty cool. Part of me kind of wishes I waited for the, I mean, the Top Gun movie was really good though. Um, but I kind of, everyone has seen the Jurassic Park one, so I didn't get a chance to see it. So I kind of wish I had waited um, to see that one. I kind of like every month I have like, hmm, if I have some extra, uh, you know, real life V-Bucks, <laughs> V-Bucks in real life, uh, I can either get some V-Bucks in Fortnite to get a character or I can go see a movie or I don't know. But yeah, I hope everyone liked it. Um, I mean, it looks fun. I mean, I liked the other movies so far, and they were fun. And I hope they make a Lego game of the third one, but I don't know if they will because they made a Lego game of the first and, and second Jurassic Park. Um, that was kind of fun. Oh, you're gonna see it next week. Awesome, Jamari. That's great. You liked the movie May Twelve. Awesome, May Twelve. Nope, haven't seen it, and good luck. Awesome, Thea. Good game, everyone. Okay, guys, Um, I think uh, it is uh, 4.52. Uh, so maybe we'll go, um, if you guys don't mind, I'm going to exit the room, and we'll try to put in one more uh, thing. Um, I will copy Ramel's down. Uh, Ramel, I'll copy yours down. Okay, uh, Super Yoshi, sorry, it says, this is gonna be my last race, and I had to exit the room, sorry, Super Yoshi, um, if you can't get into the next one, I completely understand, okay, guys, we're gonna try to do JD's race, we're gonna try to do JD's, uh, tournament, for at least, um, we're kinda closing down, guys, so, Ramel, I don't know if we'll be, have a chance, because I have to, I have a stream at five, um, 15 so we're gonna try to do at least one race on um we're gonna try to do at least one race on jd's if not two okay Alrighty. Okay, guys. Alright, guys. This is, uh, Kirby is awesome. Awesome, JD. Very cool. Alright. So here's JD's, uh, tournament. Yeah, there's a lot of movies I haven't gotten to see, actually. Um, I didn't actually get to see, um... The, I never saw Doctor Strange, the movie, um, kind of waiting for that to come. I kind of missed it in theaters. Um, so, um, I did get to see the Sonic movie though, and I got to see obviously Spider-Man No Way Home, which was great. Um, and now that I'm thinking about it, I kind of said, oh yeah, The Rock is going to be better than, The Rock, the Black Adam movie is going to be better than Spider-Man No Way Home, but actually thinking about it, Spider-Man No Way Home was really good because you had three Spider-Men in it, so it would be tough to beat, but I'm hoping Black Adam will be good. Um, uh, okay, and, uh, alright guys, so we're going to play at least one 
race in this tournament, if not two, and then we're gonna call it a stream. Well, Doctor Strange will come on the 22nd. Awesome, Nintendo Kid Super Yoshi. Well, I'm excited for that. Um, then I'll get to watch Doctor Strange on the 22nd. Yeah, so I haven't seen... Um, so, let, yeah, let me know if... Uh, you know, if you guys liked the Jurassic Park movie when you guys are able to see it. And I never got to see Doctor Strange. I feel like Doctor Strange is going to be very, uh, um, like, scary, the movie, and very intense. And I kind of, uh, maybe I would rather be at home watching it so that I can, like, if it's scary and intense, I can just get up and get some popcorn or pet my cat and not worry about it so much. Because it's like, um, I like, to, when I go to the movie theater, I kind of like to feel happy and leave um, feeling really good um, so and thanks so much for playing with us and thank you for all uh, putting all the tournaments in the chat um, Super Yoshi, Nintendo Lover Girl, Jacob Langlet, Geo, um, JD and Ramel and I'm sorry Ramel I did write your tournament down um, but I couldn't get to it today uh, so maybe we can get to it next Friday. Sorry about that, um, Ramel. Thanks for putting it in the chat, though. And, um, I'll try to write also JD's down in the, in the description of the video so I can remember to try it next time. I mean, we can try some other people's that I haven't played in a while. Like, I know, um, Omerald, Posi, and some other people's tournaments are still on here. Tom and a whole bunch of you guys. Oops, I got on the grass, I got on the grass. Okay guys, it's uh this is JD's tournament. Woohoo! Awesome. Thanks JD for making a great tournament for everyone. And thank you, Nintendo Lover Girl, for making the last tournament. Really appreciate that. Um Nintendo Lover Girl and JD and everyone. Thank you, um uh Super Yoshi. And Jacob, and also Geo for making some great tournaments. Thank you, guys. Oops. I got yeeted by a shell. Shellular. Shell shock. We got turtles, turtles on the brain. Show you later, dudes. Oh my gosh. Great job, everyone! My female clone wins, says Jacob. Awesome, Jacob! <laughs> Good job, everybody! I tried hard! I don't know. Okay. That'll probably be the only time I get a uh, fifth in that. Okay, guys, one more. We can either do Dragon Driftway or we can do. DK Jungle or Random or Animal Crossing. Okay, guys, this will be the last uh, race of the stream. Thank you so much for playing with me, everyone. Um, great to see you guys in the chat. Uh, Nuclear Lightning, JD, Aaron, Moses, uh, Thea, Timmy Sailor Venus, Crossfighter, Jacob Langlet, Geo, Super Posse, Nintendo Ken Super Yoshi. Great to see you, Lorey, OHX90. Uh, thanks for hanging out, uh, United Thrive, Marco, and, uh, 
Mage Wolf is here and Jamari and uh, everyone. So thanks so much for making awesome tournaments, everybody. And I had a lot of fun. We're not uh, we're not done yet, but this will be the last race. So thanks for racing with me and hanging out on the stream and always making my day a little brighter, everyone. So thanks for hanging out, everybody. And um, I I believe the next stream is uh, it's like a a beat 'em up uh, uh, clone. Uh, I don't remember what the name of it is, but it should be interesting. I think it's like a fighting game. Um, so Luke and I are going to stream that, and then I think Turtles is at 8 o'clock, and I don't know what's at 10. I honestly kind of forgot to check. I have it kind of uh, near me. Gotta get those coins. I'm concentrating hard. I'm trying to get not 12 at the end. Oh, there goes Geo zooming by me. There's somebody, I see John there. Oh. All right, great job, everyone. Fantastic job, everybody. Good job, everyone. Says the uh, good game, says Geo. Trevor wins, says Ramel. You got fifth place. Awesome, Tim. Okay, guys and gals, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. Really appreciate that. Good game, says Geo. Good game, says Trevor. Thanks so much for hanging out with me, everyone. And I will see you guys uh, and gals around 5.30 for another stream. And I believe the stream is going to be on Final Vendetta. Uh, at 5.30 and then we're doing um, another stream at 8 o'clock. I don't remember what it is. I think, oh yeah, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles will resume at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. But in a half an hour, we're doing Final Vendetta in about 20 minutes. Alright guys, God bless Happy Gaming and have a wonderful Friday um, evening everyone. Thanks for hanging out with me everyone and playing with me. See ya! Bye!